So the transcendentals are really a principle of, of all philosophical systems in one way or another. Okay. And it, normally it's, so the Greco-Roman has this. I would argue that you can find it in the Old Testament and the New Testament. Okay. In the ideas of, so, so St. Paul makes the distinction where he talks about the flesh. Um, I think he would say maybe the mind. I'm, I'm kind of talking, this is not a scholarly research paper. I'm talking <laughs> off the cuff. Where he talks about the body, the senses, then there's the mind, the human, and there's the spirit. And this is kind of a, a hierarchy of moving from visible to invisible realities. So that's St. Paul. You have similar concept in the Old Testament. So that's like the biblical notion. Then the Greco-Roman, the, the, the Plato and Aristotle, they had a similar distinction between the body, the mind, and a kind of deeper reality. Um, and, and, and for them, it, it, it's necessary to have the metaphysical reality of God because there's a oneness to, to things and that's beyond the things. Um, and so that's where the, the, the transcendentals is this idea that goodness to truth and beauty, there's the form of it in the universal, in, in the mind of God. Mm -hmm. Then there's the reality of goodness, truth, and beauty in things in the world mm -hmm. that participate in that higher, if that makes sense. Yes.